Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're doing something different, something that we don't usually do. It is 7.30 a.m. All the animals are out and fed, and we have Sophie, and we are headed to the doctor. So today is the day that we get to find out what is wrong with Sophie. I read the report. I got the, um, where we live, and I know it's the same in America, I think. But you can request any kind of tests that you have and then they also give you like the doctor's findings so the doctor that reviewed her CT scan recommended that she see a pediatric neurologist so I'm assuming that today's visit will just be him giving us results and then referring us to a pediatric neurologist so I have a couple ideas about what could be wrong with Silty two different kind of ideas but obviously but obviously I'm not a doctor and I don't know I just was I just read her report and plus all my family is 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 medical like all all of us so I have a sister that works in medicine I have another RN sister I have a friend who's a doctor I have a friend like I, our whole my whole circle are either teachers or, or in the medical field so I had a lot of them read her results <laughs> so I have a pretty good idea of what's going on um, but we're gonna update you guys when we get back and tell you what the heck is gonna happen moving forward all I know is that definitely that fall that she was wearing a helmet for damaged Sophie damaged her head and I'm gonna explain more in a little bit so see you guys then We are done at our appointment, um, and I'm going to explain to you guys in a little bit, but right now I need to get some things for what we're doing this weekend. All right, we are home, and Sophie's going to do her number four. This is her advent calendar. It's makeup. Ooh, I love that color. Let's show them. Well, actually, that would look good on you, too. Sophie's definitely a summer. Oh, super cute. Love it. Honestly, us going out in the morning, first thing in the morning, sets us hours behind in the daytime. So, my, our whole house, because we were away all day yesterday, then when we got home, I had to edit, and editing is a lot, it's a big job. And then, are you, what are you doing? Unhooking the trailer. Oh, unhooking the trailer. You didn't even do that yet. So, just from like not being available the last couple of days, my house is such a mess. I get so grouchy <coughs> when my house is a mess. And clearly, my goats are not happy either. They're just calling me. Unfortunately, we had to leave, and I can't let every goat out at the exact same time because girls and boys get different food so the girls had to stay in a little longer this morning they all had their breakfast though so now they're going out hopefully one two three four i am missing one she does not think she's a goat she wants to be a baby she wants to live in the house with us Take her at another good door. She gets scared when the um, mean goats are out there. Hello. Molly, go. I know. She wants the goats. Uh, all right. There she goes. There she goes. All right. We're going to get chores done, get our house cleaned because it is awful. You're not friendly. Okay, maybe you are now. Is that the mom or that's. Oh, that's the baby. Look how chunky they all look though. A lot of it's fur. But they definitely look a lot wider on the top than they did before. All right, so the goats are done. And we also, Kelly. go dogs. Like what the heck, you don't realize how important it is to get in and out fast? Anyways, we also did not let the chickens out. 
so we gotta go do that. Okay, she wants Whoa, me. look at the baby. Should I, you got food for me? Look at her. Oh, she's warm. I can't warm. pick up my other baby. <laughs> I know, the other baby's too big now. She's right here though. She's like, pick me up. Our babies are big now. They are big. I love the white ones, they're super cute. Flowers. I love them in winter fur. So one thing about goats I've noticed is that I actually really like them in their winter in their winter hair. Uh oh, don't you be mean to that baby. They are a gang of bullies. See, that's why she gets upset. These are the things I needed to get at the store today uh, for our Christmas party. We're going to not a Christmas party. We're going to Sophie's first ever banquet, equestrian banquet. So I needed to get nylons. Um, I got these. I got these nylons too that are more like, kind of like really thin leggings. I'm coming. Um, I got Sophie this case for her AirPods. I bought a ton of different nylons so that everybody could try them, see what ones they liked. And then I had to get safety pins because Gabby says, that she has a trick she wants to do with her dress. I can't wait to show you guys Gabby's dress. Um, I can't wait to show you guys Sophie's dress. So this is Sophie's real like first fancy dress as a teenager. But it is nap time on the day by day farm. Everybody is chilling, is cold and damp and yucky outside. So everybody's just relaxing. This is what it looks like. This is what Molly does when Gabby's at school. <laughs> she hates Gabby being gone, but she doesn't hate it that much. <laughs> She's Ellie. She doesn't like Ellie. She's telling Ellie to go away. Ellie, go. And there's Miss Daisy. I get every once in a while I get comments saying, "Where's Daisy?" But she's here. She's the love muffin. She doesn't want to get up. Yeah, if Daisy doesn't want to get up too, you can't make her. Like she turns herself into a noodle when you try and push her off some out of some place. And then those are my babies. Are we missing somebody? Where's the cat? Probably under the couch sleeping. But nap time is over. We've been showing you guys all of our baby chicks and this is probably our last batch of baby <gasps> chicks. No. You don't think so? You wanna just keep keep hatching? Yeah. Ellie, stop jumping up. All right, so we're gonna show you our unhatched chicks. And then we'll show you our hatched chicks. Wow, there's a lot of them. So this is them. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have 22. This, this is baby. Wow, yeah, there's we a baby just in there. This one yesterday. Yeah, and there's a baby. So you were right, Sophie. There, this one's like full except for that little. I light. can't really tell. Here, let me turn off the light. Oh, that's got a baby. Some are too dark so, to see. Like, can you guys even see as good with the light off? I'm gonna turn the light back on. This time we got some kind of light pinks and some greens and some blues. Yeah, our friend. we stole those eggs from our friend. Yeah, you can see a lot better. Hold on. See, do you see that big dark spot in there? It's the yolk. It's the yolk. We're looking for veining to see. Okay, this one's mainly full. You see any veining? No. So my I incubator can't. will beep when we take the lid off because it's telling me that the eggs are gonna get hold, cold, but it's okay. Yeah, that's why it's really annoying. It's a really annoying Did you incubator. See that? Yeah. That's the only little spot. Yeah, so that one's big. That's gonna be one of our first ones to hatch. She's just going to candle these eggs and see what's inside. We don't want any to explode. Our last eggs, every single one hatched, except Look for two that- Look how this one is. Except for two that, did you do that one? I do think it. so. Oops. Yeah, that one looks good. Yep. All right, so anyway, those are them. These are our unborn babies, 22 of them. Okay, so, so we are gonna go and do our New Year's resolution that Sophie and I have been doing. We've been walking every single day, taking our horses for a walk, taking some animal for a walk. Look at our ring. Yeah, super cute. Look how um, cute penguin is. Yeah, that is penguin, you guys. Isn't she super cute? I don't wanna touch their feet, because then I'll stink. Ellie, stop. 
Every time I open their it's thing. So cute. Uh oh. Okay, she's so, so we're gonna go do it and I'm gonna take Storm. So if he says I can't take Storm, she says that I'm not gonna be able to handle him, but I'm gonna handle him. I'm hoping I'm gonna handle him. Anyways, he deserves to get out. He needs to get out. Even though he's the one that goes to lessons all the time, he does get out, but he needs to get out and go for a walk. So anyways, before we go and do that, I wanted to tell you guys what happened at the doctor's office. I swear, it's not just the dogs that come when I start vlogging. It's every single dog, Sophie. Hey, she showed up. And the cat. Yep, our little tiny kitty. Like, look at her head compared to my hand. Look at her head compared to my hand. Like, she is the tiniest cat. Just, you can't see her now. She's so little. Okay, so basically he doesn't know exactly what's wrong with Sophie, but he knows that there is something going on with her brain. Uh, she has, he thinks that her son has got crushed. He said it's obliterate, obliterated, and that's a problem, and that can cause headaches. But there are some other findings that were a little bit different um, on her CT scan too. So her, he said that the CT scan isn't designed to show the things that we needed to see, um, clearly. So now she's going to go and have an MRI. So Sophie, that's the next step. So she's going to have an MRI and she, he is going to send her to a specialist and he's going to do a MRI and she got some medicine. She's taking some antibiotics. In fact, she's taking a couple of different medicines, a couple of different drugs to try and fix the things that he saw specifically. Which is so crazy to me because I took her to so many places, so many doctors, a uh, uh, concussion clinic. I took her so many places and nobody wanted to even pay attention to her. And then suddenly she has a CT scan and she's getting all the care that she should have had, I feel like, to begin with. Thankfully our doctor is really good and he listened to her. So that is where we are in her journey and we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna stay chill. We're gonna not get stressed out about it. Nothing in the MR, nothing in the CT scan was like serious, so super serious or like, um, or couldn't get fixed. So it's just good to know what we're dealing with. So that's what we're doing. We're dealing with it. Sophie might be sick for a few days. She's never really been on antibiotics for years. How did you I feel? I was a very sick child. Yeah, she was a really sick child and was on a lot of antibiotics and a lot of drugs, but it's been since she was about maybe seven that she stopped being sick. Seven, so she really has not had any medications or any drugs since she was seven. How did the antibiotics to Excuse me, I'm vlogging here. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's like a three way. She's deaf, so you can't even do anything about it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so, how do the antibiotics make you feel? Do they give you a bellyache? For like 10 minutes. Well, wait for it because we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen, but let's go take our horses for our daily walk. I'm taking Storm. How do you feel about me taking I Storm? I started the daily walk, and you should take Gracie instead. Yeah, Gracie should go too. I'll take Gracie tomorrow. You should take her today. No, I'm taking Storm. Oh, well, one Storm gets. You know, Sophie says I shouldn't take Storm yeah. and show him the road because he is honestly the kind of guy to like plot and try and figure out a way out. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the fastest walk in the history of the world. This one. Oh. This walk, because I'm frozen already. So we gotta run. This is gonna be a running walk. But also, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who left kind messages. You're gonna have to use Penny's halter. All right, I'll do that. Um, on Gabby's riding lesson, and I wanted to say one thing. First of all, thank you so much. Like, I cried reading so many of your comments. Like, how so many of you guys get me and get us and get the dynamic and, oh, shocking. Storm ran away. Storm ran away? She came running through. Oh, Storm actually ran away. I know. Penny's like, I'm eating. They all ran away. Oh, Willow says yes. But I also wanted to tell you guys this one thing that I feel guilty about and that I'm like stressed about. And like, a lot of you guys know, if you've been following us, that Gabby and Gabby got started when she was 11. He was 11 and she was 11. 
and I believe there's like some kind of love that happens between an 11 year old and an animal. Like at 11, kids feel able to express their love in a way that like teenagers don't and adults don't. Where the, where the heck is Storm? What? Storm. <laughs> and she loved him and in her mind, there was never ever gonna be another horse, just him. But then a time came where she kind of outgrew him and she needed somebody else to take her through like rated shows. He just can't get the striding. And that's okay, like his worth as a horse, besides his, the fact that we love him, is in the fact that he's safe. Where, oh, <laughs> there you are. Now go catch my horse. <laughs> The goats are like, pick us! I didn't bring the right shoes. Catch mine. No, you catch yours. I don't have right shoes on. I'm gonna Crocs. bring treats. I'm gonna go get hey. treats. So anyways, he seems like he's the only one who wants to come. So anyways, in Gabby's mind, and in Storm's mind, there were no other horses. But then, sadly, if she wanted to move forward in her competitions. He's like, oh, you left the green buckets here. That's his, uh-oh. He's like, listen, they have not cleaned theirs very nice. See how clean his is? He licks it clean. So anyways, in their mind, there was no Gabby and any other horse ever. It was just Gabby and Storm. Go slow. Storm, you look so good in pink. So it was me and the trainers that decided Gabby needed another horse. And I didn't film it, but I told you guys about it. Gabby fought us as like a 13 year old, fought us to the death. She cried. She cried and she cried. And she said, no, there will be no more horse. Like absolutely no way on earth just wait, I have to finish telling this story. And we fought her and we fought her and she said, no, Storm can do it. Storm's gonna be who I want him to be and who I need him to be. Uh-oh, I can handle him. Wait, I gotta put you guys away. I can manage him, you guys. It's, oh, we gotta fix his straps. Anyways, she fought as hard as she could and as long as she could. And, aw, look at him. And in the end, how we got her to come back to, how we got her to accept another horse. I'll take my Good boy. Back. So <laughs> in the end, we took her to look at another horse. We just took her and we said, hey, try this horse. And she rode Chino and it was love at first sight. But what makes me feel so sad is that it was never Gabby and it was never Storm that said he wasn't what she wanted. Like, that's what I feel guilty about. Like, how he's healing her heart now. Like, I don't know. I feel like moving forward, I've changed so much. And I just want to listen to my kids. And I just want to listen to our horses. And I think in the end, Gabby would have gladly never competed anywhere. That she couldn't take him. sad that even though she had an amazing time with Chino and loved him I'm sad that I let anything come between that
our daily visit with the baby. She runs as soon as she sees Sophie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't make me feel guilty. Tomorrow I have to take Gracie and the next day I'll take you. That's why I got two walks. Don't you know that you're beautiful?